Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. It's Ashley from the Ashe Shop here, and I have a story for you. So, y'all know that Oya was the wife of Ogun, but a lot of y'all haven't heard too many stories about how she became the wife of Ogun. And this is a story I love because I feel like Ogun a lot of times is painted as the villain, and he really isn't the villain. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this story. The title of this story is Oya Yansen's Secrets Are Revealed. So, a long, long, long time ago in Ile'ife, Ogun was out to hunt. And he sees his buffalo. And he's like, man, we about to eat tonight. So, he gets his stuff ready and he's like perched in a bush watching his buffalo. And as he's watching it and kind of like calculating what he's going to do, how he's going to attack the buffalo, all of a sudden the buffalo stops. It lowers its head and sheds its skin. Becoming the most beautiful woman Ogun has ever laid eyes upon in his life. So after she transforms, she takes the buffalo's horns and skins and rolls it up and tucks it into an anthill, gets her stuff together and goes to the market. Not knowing the whole time Ogun is watching her. So after she leaves, Ogun goes to the anthill, takes her stuff and goes to his house and he hides it in the corn shed. And if any of y'all know about like corn sheds and like yam sheds in um, Africa and Ile'ife, these things are usually packed with with food so him hiding it in the corn shed is not something like he can just go in there and find so after he hides it really good he goes to the market and he walks around and he finds Oya Yansen and he goes up to her and he says you are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen will you marry me she don't even pay him any attention she's like man if you don't get away from me with that nonsense and he's like well you know, you, you, you'll you come to your senses. You won't be able to resist marrying me. I'm going to be here waiting for you. And y'all have to keep in mind, Oya's beauty is profound. Anybody who lays eyes upon her is just going to fall in love with her. That's how she ended up seducing other Orisha and learning what she knows. But that's a whole other story. So at the end of the market day, after Oya done made her money, because you know she bought her business. She goes back to the anthill and she can't find her stuff. And y'all know that feeling when you're looking for something and you know you put it there and it's not there. So she goes back to the market. Everybody else is gone, but Ogun sitting there waiting. I knew you'd be back. <laughs> and Oya said, man, what you do with my stuff? And Ogun's like, well, you know, so you want to marry me? And Oya's like, okay, well, I see I have no choice but to marry you, but let me tell you how this is going to go down. You cannot tell anybody that I'm an animal. Nobody is ever to call me an animal. You cannot um, make a fire with palm reeds, and if you have your pestle and mortar, the pestle cannot roll on the floor. She's like, this is how it's going to go down. Tell everybody else in your house, this is how I must be treated and respected, and that's that. So Ogun goes back to his house. He talks to his other wives. He explains to them that, you know, Yansen is coming to live with us. And this is how she's going to be treated. They're like, oh, okay. They don't really make a big deal out of it until, you know, time goes on. And Oya has her first child. And then Oya has her second child. And then Oya has her third child. And then before you know it, time has passed and Oya has nine children. And his other wives are jealous because they're like, you know, things haven't been right since he bought this woman here. Things haven't been right since he bought her here. Like, we don't have control over our house anymore. She has become like the lead wife, but she was the last one to come in. And in a po polygamous relationship, the respect goes to the first wife, second wife, third wife in that order. So for her to come in as his last wife and be treated as the first wife to get most of his att attention and end up having most of his children, they were very jealous. Jealous is almost an understatement. They turn green. They walk around looking like little green monsters. They're so jealous of Oya. So one night, they decide to get Ogun drunk. And I mean not drunk, but hesse drunk. They just giving him glass after glass after glass of palm wine. And then, you know, women, you get your man drunk so you can ask some questions. 
So, of course, after he's good and sloppy, they start asking him questions. And he's so sloppy drunk that he gives it up. He gives up her secrets. He gives up the information without even really thinking about it. Because you have to keep in mind, a husband trusts his wife. A husband trusts his wives. They already were told how to treat Yonsen. So, him giving up the secret, he tells him, you know, don't call her an animal. Don't let her know I told you. Don't let her know that her skins are hiding in the corn shed. And they're like, okay, mm -hmm, all right. The next day, as soon as Ogun leaves to go hunt and go to the market, they start singing. Oh, Yansen is an animal. Yansen is an old ugly buffalo. We not going to tell you your skin's in the corn shed. And I mean, they dragging her for filth, honey. And Yansen, she have a temper on her, but she's very humble. And they should have been scared when they didn't see her do nothing. So she don't say nothing. She let them sing. She lets them have their moment of joy to revel, to bring her misery. Because out of her misery, they found happiness. Y'all got to watch out for people like that. But of course, they end up having to leave the house too to go to the market. When I tell y'all, as soon as they step foot off the property, Oya Yansan runs to that corn shed and starts digging and searching for her buffalo skins. And as soon as she finds it, y'all know she puts that skins on, she shakes, and she fills out that form. Her, her body falls into place in the buffalo. And she waits. And she waits. And she waits for them to come home. As soon as she hears, they're cackling and keep keying because they still singing. They still think they got one up on. When I tell y'all, oh, yeah, bust out that corn shed. And she went to murking them hoes. Like, literally, like, it was a massacre. It was a massacre. That's like the only way I can describe it. She literally slaughtered them and danced on their bodies. Her children were afraid. But then they go up to her and they say, y'all say, oh yeah, y'all say, mama, is that you? And she can't really talk because she's in buffalo form. So she nuzzles them and lets them know, like, you know, kids, you're good, you're safe. This is my form. And she's like, you know, you can't come with me. Y'all have to stay here where it's safe for you because the forest, the bush is no place for children. So she takes her horns and she gives it to them. And she tells them that, you know, if you're ever in danger, rub them together and I will come to your rescue. Whenever you're in despair, whenever you're in need, put these two horns together and I'll be right there with you. And this is the reason why two horns are kept on Yansen's altar. And I love this story for so many reasons because even though... Ogun manipulated Oya into becoming his wife. Her greatest joy came from this union. Her children came from this. But then the lesson also falls on the wives of the women of another man, of this man. Because they were told, you know, you got to treat her with respect. And this goes back to y'all dating a man who have a baby mama. And y'all understand, like, you know, she do some sideways stuff. But it's not for you to speak out against her. You respect this woman as if she was his first wife because she's the mother of his children. And holding yourself above that level keeps you safe. Because what the wives did wrong wasn't learning her secret, but was taking her secret and dragging her for filth. The relationship between a man's baby mama and him, a lot of times this can be a tumultuous relationship. You have to be his peace and let, him, let them work that out. It's not for you to get this tea and be like, man, that who ain't nothing. She don't take care of her kids. She don't do this. She don't do that. Now you dragging her in the streets. And you're putting yourself in a position for her revenge because that woman continuing to come back and throw shade and do stuff is messing up your relationship. So be careful about what you say about other people, especially revealing other people's secrets. I hope y'all enjoyed this story. I know I love this one. It's one of my favorites. And y'all know it's the end of the year. Don't hesitate to reach out to me if y'all have any questions. And go ahead and book y'all reading at the Ashe Shop.com. Ashe.